Hey guys, this is Accounting Nightmare. Welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 2. Up to mission 14 for Dante. And we're going to go with DMC1 Dante. Why did you save me? I was created by him. Every hero has a weakness. But the ritual was activated because of me. There's still time. We have until the sun is completely eclipsed. But... How are you going to enter the building? The entrance is... Where there's a will, right? Right, so don't, don't you just love how they tell us what this ritual is and what's going on? And... Yeah. Mission 14, four lights will open the door to the future and the past. Mm, not enough orbs. But we'll upgrade something next mission. Ah, DMC1 Dante. With a rocket launcher. So does this place look familiar? Remember it? This is where we fought Orangarera. And now that door is a secret room. Oh, don't you love it? Number 18. Goat City in this one. So there's two goatlings and a blood goat. I teach you. Make good use of the shotgun while they're still vulnerable. Because blood goats are vulnerable to the shotgun too. And for the music, we have Lock and Load from the first Devil May Cry. Isn't that wonderful? I really like Dock Mode. Don't want to use up all that trigger. Need some for the next wave. Oh, he's got quite a reach on him. Thank you for dying. Two blood goats and an abyss goat this time. So blood goats. So goats are. We've got three stages. Goatlings are the weakest ones. You got blood goats in the middle. What was that? I just did some weird move. I've never seen before. Hang on. I can't activate it now. Ah, a sweeping kick. Places his elbow move in devil trigger form. Isn't that neat? I had, I've never seen that move before. This game has some really strange hidden moves. Blue Orb Fragment. So Goatlings are the weakest. Blood Goats are the next step up and then you got Abyss Goats. Not really sure what the difference is between Goatlings and Blood Goats because they're both vulnerable to the shotgun. Maybe one of them's just got more health. So this place is completely screwed. The idea here is we have to find four switches to activate. Some of them are in really stupid spots like that one. I had real trouble finding that one. On my first playthrough. The movement of the demon world is slowly intensifying. Need to release three more. Silly little switch hunt. Abyss goats. We just fought some goats, so we don't care. We do not care about you guys. Does this place look familiar? It's mission one, but completely screwed. More enemies. Who respawn a whole lot. We don't care. We're after the switches. <laughs> they didn't spawn until I was way past them. Jeez. Another familiar site. Remember that place for mission one? Yeah, you remember. Got mages and Jomo from Syria. Oh, I don't care if I pronounce that correctly. I don't care. 
kill these mages. There's a switch here I need to activate. And the mages will screw me up if I don't kill them. So I'm gonna kill them. Bronto Mancers. Bronto means thunder. Which I remember because I used to love dinosaurs when I was a kid. And Brontosaurus meant thunder lizard. Just teleport when I'm about to slash your head. God, the manners. Learn your manners. I hope I can get away without having to kill these other little guys. See how we do. In case you're wondering about the swords, they all handle exactly the same. Vendetta is the same as Merciless, is the same as Rebellion. It's the same as Force Edge. There's just the only difference is range and power. I'll kill you because Oh, where'd he go? Let's see if we can activate this. Yeah, you leave me to do my work. I said leave me. So switches are really annoying because they deactivate over time. If you don't keep hitting them, they will turn white again. You have to start from scratch. Alright, I'm gonna kill you guys. You're all gonna die. Another one. I'll grab that health. Sure got a lot of trigger these days, don't we? Oh god. They just keep spawning here. That switch would have been activated by now if it didn't degenerate. When you're using the R2 trick, you just keep slashing in the same direction. So often you'll hit it with your first hit, but then you'll move past it for the rest of your combo. There we go. You feel the movement of the demon wall. Intensifying even more. Need two more. Let's get out of here. Nowhere else to go from here. So we'll go back out. And we'll head down this way. Red orbs. There's a nice little orb found here waiting for us. Which is handy because we still need red orbs. I'm only going to max out uh, health and trigger. I don't really care about the weapons because they take so many orbs and it's not like you get new abilities or anything. The power just goes up slightly. Down this way. Damn. Alright, well, I'm going to go after the demonic choruses around here first because they will screw me up when I'm trying to activate the switch. Don't need to worry too much about the golems. It's the demonic choruses. Screw things up. They're not very dangerous right now, but when they trigger, they just start spamming attacks. It makes it quite difficult to get any switch hitting done. Look at that attack rate. Right. Knock him out of the air because he's triggered. Oh well. He's dead. Try the submachine guns. Eh, yeah, they're alright. Submachine guns are. Oh, well, they haven't been upgraded at all. But there's a, a few points in the game which they're useful, but we've already passed those points. Like uh, the, the boss of mission 6. When he summons those bats, the submachine guns are really good at killing the bats. And the submachine guns are great at killing moths. And they're great for letting your finger rest when you have to do a lot of shooting. That's about it, really. Alright, and that's all the demonic choruses. It's 
contestant flying to the extreme. Jeez. And there was a yellow warp up there. Gonna have to fly. Huh. Gold orbs, sorry. Yellow orbs and gold orbs are different. So two paths, that's where we came from. And that's where we're going. Yellow orbs are the classic ones from DMC1. Gold orbs are the new ones. Might get a little bit of trigger up. Don't need a whole lot. That would do. Let's just keep moving. So this whole level is one big loop. As you can see, we're back at the start. So where do we go now? Well, there's a little side passageway down here. We shall explore this. And as you can see, there's a switch. The final switch. It's also a blue orb fragment. I'm going to turn that down. And there's a, a shitload of mages. This place is a mage massacre. And I'm not going to say no to that because I love fighting mages. I don't know why. Teleports right in front of me. It spawns right in front of me. Poor thing. I don't remember that door from Dante's Mission 4, I think it was. Well, now we can actually go through it. We won't do it quite yet. We want to finish up our business here. And this whole passageway is full of, I don't know, demon goop. So we don't want to go down there. We can't anyway. We wouldn't want to anyway. That's where we fought the freaking bloody water monster thing. I've forgotten her name. Really horrible boss anyway. One left. Yeah, he's dead. No one? Nope. Okay. Switch heating time, and I'm going to save my trigger for the next room. So, we're doing this the long way. The demon pulse has been released. You'll be able to reach the demon world. That's nice. How do we reach the demon world? Well, the big door. If you hadn't activated the four switches, nothing will happen here. But we have, because we are efficient. Let's set up our hearts quickly. I want speed, electro. We'll grab some healing. Because I could use some healing. A bit low on health. Hey, look who it is! It's Phantom! From DMC1. You remember Phantom, right? He hasn't said anything, he won't say anything. He's returning from DMC1 in which he died. <sighs> DMC2. Could have had a boss return that made sense. Like, maybe Nightmare, because they could just make another Nightmare. So, Phantom is different in this game to number one. He still does that attack, but you can't really interrupt it now. You can, but it takes a lot of work. You have to do a lot of damage really quickly. And you pretty much have to be triggered to interrupt it. You can still pull his tail out. 
When he's got his tail out, it's much harder to get close to him and do damage. That, that wall just disappeared. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. Grab that health. I want to get... Yeah. I want him to put his tail away so I can get in close and do more damage. See, his tail is very quick at attacking. When you're at range, he just spams these attacks over and over and over. Quite annoying. Put your tail away, mate. It's quite difficult to shoot. He usually covers his face with his arms. Which blocks your shots. And you have to hit him in the face to hurt him. Only weak point. In DMC1, his main weak point was actually his back. You could hit him in the face, it just wasn't as good as hitting him in the back. Because you're leaving yourself wide open to attack. But you can't even hurt him in the back this time. And he still does that grab attack. Uh, I don't care about that. Piss off. So he put his tail away soon. God. That attack's annoying because you have no chance to interrupt it. And that's his trademark fireball, which you can't reflect back at him anymore, I'm pretty sure. In the first game, you could reflect it back, or you could sting him while he was doing it and it would blow up in his mouth. Which is fantastic. <laughs> no, I can't trigger to get out of that one. He's got quite a range on that. If he'll put his tail away, I'll be able to attack him. Put your frickin' tail away, you cunt. I'll start swearing. You don't want me to swear. So he's got two attacks like this. This is the one where he shoots stuff in the air, which rains on you. The other one is where he puts his mouth to the ground and it shoots lava up to hit you. That's the one you can interrupt if you're lucky. The raining fire one you can't interrupt. If you try to fight him from range, he just spams those ones over and over again. Your strategy is mainly to attack him in the face and jump over his claw attacks, but you can't do that till he puts his tail away. Put your tail away, you cunt. It's being really annoying this time. I should have recorded my test run, that went perfectly. That attack where he does a slow grab, he grabs you and slams you against the ground a fair bit. That's actually a special death animation in the first game. But you don't have those in this game. They should bring those back. They're not in any of the other Devil May Cry's as far as I know. I'm gonna kill him with a shotgun at this rate. Oops. Forgot about that last one. There we go. Right when we're about to kill him. God. What an asshole. Ben is an asshole. Asshole. Save over that one. That's quite an old one now. Well, mission 14 done. There are only four left for Dante and four left for Lucia. So we're very close to the end. Please join me for mission 15, which should be pretty quick actually.